What is going on, Ben Nation? You might be looking right now wondering exactly what's going on with this bro token on Pulse Chain Network, and you maybe you can't find it or something like that. So uh, I've had enough people reaching out to me and asking me about this that now I feel maybe it's time to make a video so that you guys have an idea of how to do this. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. Remember, I'm not partnered with Ben anymore for, for producing these videos. I'm still a supporter. And I'm still a holder. So uh, let's get into it uh, first. Uh, you're probably wondering, and you might be even seeing, like, there's price action. There's a good move up here. Now, is this significant? Not yet. Not a significant move yet. Again, I told you that I think that we're up here for about a 5X or, three. I'm sorry, 3X coming pretty soon. I think that we're going to have another little run uh, into the upper stratosphere. And I think that we're going to get some momentum back. And as a matter of fact, this bro token represents a good way to make that happen. So the first thing that you are going to do, make sure you write this down so that you don't forget it, is you're going to come over here to pulsechain.com. Now, on pulsechain.com, you can come up here and just click add pulse chain to your MetaMask if you're holding it in MetaMask. If it's Trust Wallet, then you're going to import this. You're going to import a new network and it's going to be pulse chain. Then you're going to put in the RPC. The chain ID is 369 and the currency symbol is going to be PLS. And this is the block explorer. If you want to, you don't have to, by the way, for the block explorer, but you know, it helps you if you're going to be trading on pulse chain. Now, once you've accomplished that, you're going to go into your wallet. And if you're in a Coinbase wallet or any one of these other wallets, uh, then at the bottom, you'll see a little tab and that little tab, the one in the middle, like on a Coinbase wallet, it's called browser. Go into your browser, or if you're on the internet, you can go into your browser over here, and then you type in APP. It's HTTPS, uh, but then it's APP.9, the number nine, inch.io. When you come in here, what you get is this window right here. Now, this is where you're going to find out how many bro tokens you have. I already sold mine because I, I use mine to go buy more Ben. I'm I'm not crazy. You know what I mean? And by the way, three and a half X, four, almost four X is what I end up getting. So what we're going to do is we're connect a wallet right here. You're going to pop that in. You're going to approve that in your wallet. And it's going to ask you if you want to switch networks or, or, you know, whatever it is that you're going to do. Now I already have pulse because I've already traded in here. Uh, and then what you're going to do is click right here and you're going to type B R O. And then it's going to tell you right there, bro token. So you're going to click that. And then it'll, it'll populate, and basically, I think you get about a third of the total Ben holdings that you had on April 22nd. So, from there, uh, you, you've got that, and it'll tell you what your balance is. There'll be a button over here that says Max, and then you can sell it to whatever you want to sell it to. Do you want to sell it to Pulse, DAI, USDT, USDC, USDT, 9-inch, um, whatever you want to sell it to. You can then do it, and it works just like a normal swap on Uniswap or any other uh, kind of swaps. So uh, if I'm in here on Pulse, I'm going to put my um, token down here. Like, let's say I want to get back into Bro a little bit because Ben's got some announcements that are coming uh, pretty soon. So what I want to do is I want to do a max over here. Then it allows you to buy a few more tokens so you can go ahead and buy uh, and, and then complete it. Now, the next piece is what if you want to take money that you have sitting over here and you want to move it back to Ethereum? Well, if that's the case, then what you're going to do first is you're going to convert it to something that you can use. For example, uh, you're going to convert it to USDC. You're going to convert it to USDT. So you're looking to convert it into something that's transferable back over to the ERC-20 network that's tradable over there. I used USDC. Um, and as you can see right here, I've got $1,700 in USDC. So what I want to do at that point is kind of transfer it over, right? Uh, and then I want to hit the Ethereum token bridge. Uh, and, and then um, we're going to use the Ethereum token bridge. We're going to click that. It's going to pop up a new window for you. This is your bridge right here. Uh, and you're going to type in over here what it is that you want to transfer. So in this case, you would be clicking on USDC. That would convert to USDC. And then you would click the max number over here. It would put it up there for you. It would tell you what your bridge fee is. Bridge fee is 0.3%, I believe, right now. And then you would receive just a small, just a, a little bit less than uh, the amount. You would connect your wallet in order to do that. Of course, you're going to hit the connect wallet again in order to do that. So, um, and, and you can use, if you click MetaMask and you don't have MetaMask, but you have Coinbase wallet, it does the same thing. So here we're going to put in, uh, we're going to put this USDC in, and then we're going to send USDC uh, from Ethereum to Pulse Chain, or we're going to flip it over uh, and go the other way 
and, and do the same thing. I'm on the Ethereum network right now. So what you're going to make sure that you do is when you come up here, you're going to make sure that you go uh, and you're going to do it in the reverse order. Um, I already took $1,452 out uh, last night and put, and put it into the vault. So um, that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Now, um, I can't tell you what to do with your investment. I can't tell you what, what, what you should be doing or anything like that. But if you have a little bit of Ben and you got some, uh, yeah, a nice little 2x or 3x off of it's coming down. Bro's coming down a little bit right now. But if you um, had some and you've made a little bit of profit, uh, you'll notice again, people are coming back over to Ben and they're starting to put more back into Ben. Let's look at it on Dex Tools. You might be more familiar with that. So you can see it's up 10% on the day, having a nice little run. So um, if that's what you want to do, then certainly go check it out. It, it's been on a a uh, nice little recovery bounce here from this little low over here. Uh, you can see significantly speaking, Ben is up 74% in the last, uh, what is this, week. So uh, not a bad recovery. Of course, if you DCA it at the bottom, that makes it a little bit easier. So um, that's it. Should be easy to do. Oh, by the way, one more piece. Uh, I almost forgot. When you get done and you've done your bridge and you send it over, you then have to click over here and you have to claim your tokens. Make sure that you reach up there after the transaction has gone through, uh, estimate time to completion. Once you've done that, um, make sure that you go up here and there's a, there'll be a button up here that says claim your tokens when you click on it, uh, or it'll say Ethereum and you click on that and it'll say claim tokens and it'll allow you to claim your tokens. Otherwise, you're just gonna sit there uh, kind of in the bridge and you don't want them to be in a bridge for a long period of time. You never know what uh, a bridge, you know, they're, the bridges, bridges is the most unsecure part of blockchains. So, you know, uh, get your stuff off of the bridge as quickly as you possibly can. But anyway, that's what you do. Uh, ben Nation, thank you so much. Uh, make sure that you uh, do your thing and sure be cool if you put it back into Ben. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.